Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see what is CloudFront and how does it work and how, um, like, uh, what's the purpose. And in the next video, I will actually show you how to set CloudFront up. So basically, CloudFront is uh, Amazon's or AWS is uh, network. Uh, sorry, content delivery network. So let me show or explain it with an example let's say there is a somebody uh, they have some content maybe maybe a video or a website and they are hosting it somewhere in Europe anywhere here <clears throat> let's suppose the video is in Denmark and the host or whatever the region or AWS they 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 have uploaded it here now it went viral and it's being accessed from all over the world from united states south america africa asia russia everywhere now <clears throat> imagine that from the farthest portion uh, of russia or from australia the <clears throat> request is being um, to access that file is going all the way to Denmark and then back imagine the latency and imagine that everybody else is doing the same thing like all around the world they are accessing this server here <clears throat> it's one thing is latency and then the other thing is uh, the number of request the video has went viral you can say yeah they can fire up load balancer fire up more as instances but still it does not uh, uh, solve the problem of latency so CloudFront solves that problem <clears throat> what happens is that even though the main video the actual video is stored here they the Amazon has edge servers and you cannot have uh, you can't uh, have access to those uh, in terms of uh, getting service it's for uh, Amazon's uh, own content delivery you can uh, upload files to it but you would not you would not know that you're uploading to that edge server basically you are still actually uploading your uh, file for example from Australia you choose to, you have chosen and uh, in zone availability zone in somewhere in Africa or United States you will be actually uh, in in essence you'll be actually uploading your file to that edge server that's in Australia and through the Amazon CDN the cloud front the, uh, the delivery network content delivery network the Amazon will transfer that file to your Africa or United States uh, availability zone so in in the other way around what happens is that even though the video is hosted here and somebody uh, wants to see that video uh, this one that's being hosted here the request goes to Amazon's uh, edge server here and edge server says hmm I don't have that video so for only the first user in Australia is going to uh, experience that latency that uh, it will take for Amazon content delivery network to get that file from Denmark uh, server and temporarily store it here on this edge location and with the rest of the million users two million or whatever number the other users that going to access that file or that video after the first user will not see that uh, will not experience that latency because they are getting their file directly from here same goes for everybody everywhere else they will not be actually going all the way to Denmark to ex retrieve that file only the first user in that region that is connected to that edge server and all the other users they will not experience that latency they will simply get their um, uh, video from the closest edge server to them <coughs> now the other thing is how long that edge server is going to um, host that file because it's it's just a caching server it's uh, not the actual hosting server the current uh, limit is 24 hours so uh, 
TTL that you see when you're uh, when you're working through the networks uh, you know yeah the queries and you know you have to it's, you work with them you know different things have different TTLs so for this edge server to host uh, to so, sorry to cache any file temporarily the TTL is 24 hours <clears throat> Let's uh, show you the um, Amazon's actual definition of their CDN. Let's find uh, CloudFern. It should be under network. So where is the network? <clears throat> network, network and content delivery. So it says content delivery and it's right there, CloudFern. <clears throat> so we're gonna create the uh, our cloud front uh, in the next video and but here I just want to show you two things there is a web and there is RTMP so <clears throat> uh, this is very important the thing is that uh, RTMP was mainly for flash files you can see right here and if um, if you don't know last year by December uh, Adobe flash was completely um, uh, disregarded like all the browsers they stopped uh, their support and it's been deprecated and uh, right now uh, flash is considered um, not welcome <laughs> because of the security flaws and all that so RTMP was mainly for that now it's totally gone and everything is uh, in it's going to be web and you can imagine you can say hey what happened to that streaming uh, HTML5 if you know that so basically everything is now in here um, in the next video I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap this video here but in the next video we'll go ahead and uh, create a <clears throat> our cloud front for our, the one of the s3 bucket uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one